Recording in progress. So, Sat Nam, everyone. It's Candace from Soul Fire Social. So nice to be back with you. And today we are coming back to our book, Reaching the Me and Me, really working on connecting this beautiful heart and soul and this human body with our higher selves and working on staying in that state of flow between the two. Um, it's quite a powerful uh, book of exercises. We've been starting off always with a meditation, pranayama. The sets are a little shorter, but quite intensive. That's no different today. We're gonna be working on the heart center. We'll have a little bit of a sound healing for Shavasana, and then we're going to come up and do this wonderful Chia Kriya meditation. It's for protection, and it says, when everything else fails, this is the meditation that you do. This is the one that can get you out of the doldrums. This is the one that can get you unstuck. This is the one that can elevate. And I hadn't done it in a while. My mom and I were practicing it last night and I forgot just how much I love it and how quickly it has an impact. So knowing that that's our plan for the day, let's go ahead and actually you no, know, let's just get ready and tune in. Bring your hands out in front and let's warm up. Rubbing the palms together, creating lots of beautiful energy, heat, and warmth. And let's bring that heat right on into the heart center, connecting thumbs to the sternum, fingers pointing up and out, closing the eyes and tuning in. Inner landscape, inner awareness, how are we feeling today? Let's take a nice cleansing breath in through the nose. Oh, let's let go with a big old sigh. Ah, just arrive. Let's do that one more time in through the nose. And nice big sigh. Ah, keep your eye focus on the third eye. Make sure your face is soft. Let's inhale to tune in. Om. Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo in your heart. Visualize just opening up through the throat, the third eye, the crown up to your higher self. We are connecting that little guru within with the big guru upstairs. All in one, all this light, all this wisdom. Release the breath. Hmm. Keep your hands at your heart. Inhale one more time. Hold the breath, squeeze Molabanda, pulling in anus, sex organs, everything up and in, navel to the spine, connect at your heart again and visualize yourself surrounded by beautiful, brilliant light for protection during your practice. Let's open up our hands on the exhale and just connect to one another. One more inhale here. Hold it, open up through your heart center, push your elbows back 
And when we release the breath, let's send some love and light and gratitude to everyone on this call for showing up for themselves and for each other today. Receive their light in equal measure. I was reading, you can keep breathing with your hands like that for a moment. I was reading the mantra for the heart center. I will love myself unconditionally and I will give and receive in equal measure. Let's take that in. Inhale, hold the breath. I will love myself unconditionally and I will give and receive in equal measure. Let's take that to our hearts. As we release, we're gonna start with a beautiful little pranayama to stimulate the chakra system and feel wonderful. That's literally the title. Stimulate the chakra system and feel wonderful. You take your left hand, all of the finger points, and you touch it onto your third eye. The right hand comes out, and the thumb doesn't have to be up, but that left palm, the right palm needs to be facing out to the left. We're holding it literally just like this, so get comfortable. If you need your bolster or anything to make sure you're in perfect posture, and then I'm just gonna play some music and we're just gonna breathe long and deep for a little while here. So let's get used to it. Ignite on that third eye. And remember, we're closing the eye. We're focusing on that third eye point, that inner knowing, breathing in all the way, exhaling. Everything is in and out the nose. The quote to ponder is, this life is not for wasting. It is for reaching to the wonderlands of your own consciousness. This life is not for wasting. It is for reaching the wonderlands of our own consciousness. Bring that in. soft palate. Take in this Gobinda mantra. Focus on it as you're breathing. Don't let the mind wander. You are fully aware and present just in your being right now. Connected from the heart, the third eye, to your higher consciousness. We breathe. few minutes I want you to visualize by pressing on this third eye point you are activating each of your chakras you can visualize them down below the root chakra down into the earth those lower chakras activating then up through your root red sacral orange navel yellow activate the green of your heart and see this energy just pouring out, overflowing, 
from your being, from the physical body. Come up to the light blue of the throat, the indigo of the third eye, your purple crown, and then the higher chakras. And just breathe in and activate this and see yourself radiating with energy. with your breath all the way in all the way out go binda Exhale, Nam. You'll find the more you stay connected to your breath and the meditation, the less you're going to be worried about your arms. It's just get into flow. Pull the energy from the mother to the heavens. Back up, back down. You got this. life. 
wallow in the glory of your higher consciousness and your energetic being. Let's do this. Breathe. Exhale, hold the posture perfectly, push into your third eye, inhale. Hold the breath, squeeze your mola bandha, pull in the energy from the earth, pull it up through all of the chakras, ignite your third eye, let it go to the crown, let it go above, open up a thousand petal lotus at your crown and flow, hold it, flow. Release, keep your eyes closed. Let the fingertips touch the ground on either side of you. Release those shoulders. Flip the palms, inhale, sweep up through the arc field. Allow the palms to touch above the head. Then take an extra sip through rounded lips. Reach, 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 pull Mula Bandha. Bring the energy up even higher. But now we're gonna exhale through the nose slowly and manifest it down. Bring the energy from the upper chakras through the crown, third eye. Truth at your throat, connect at your heart, beautiful touch. Inhale, feel that prayer rise at your heart. Flip the prayer, release the breath. Down, 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 down through the lower triangle. Release, touch the fingertips to either side. We're gonna do that one more time. Flip the palms, sweep up on an inhale. Beautiful, touch that prayer. Inhale more through rounded lips. Slow release of the breath through the nose, manifest down spirituality, knowing, truth, compassion. Stop at your heart for a moment, working on activating the heart center today, opening it up. So here, inhale up, flip your prayer, bring it down, manifest all the way down, let's finish. And then I want you to inhale, open up the palms again here, open up through the heart center. And right before we begin this Kriya, I want you to stretch your heart chakra. And as you're breathing, visualizing a little door right there at the center of your heart, a little window or a little door. And I want you to open it up and I want you to breathe into it and let go anything that's stuck in there, anything that you need to release that's keeping you from loving the heck out of yourself. Let it go. Let it go. Close that door and breathe in that pranic energy and expand that heart chakra more. And fill yourself up with that loving compassion. We're gonna let it overflow, let it radiate around you that 365 degrees. Release and go ahead and come on to your beautiful bellies. And all right, let's get started. We're gonna come into a cobra pose here mixed it up so you can see me a little bit today. So throughout this practice, we're going to be doing a lot of work from Cobra to start with. So just remember, if you're coming up into your Cobra, you find your posture. Now, we don't want to get our shoulders all jacked up. You can have your feet together. Like for me, this is a lot of pressure on my lower back. So I open up 
my legs so that it's not quite so much pressure. And I do like to bring my hands up. This is much more comfortable for me. Or I can come into a sphinx pose and do everything here. You can also adjust and alternate between those postures as you see fit. So we first, let's come on up into your preferred posture. And we're just gonna breathe. Open up a little through the throat right here. Eye focus, third eye. Just breathe. So inhaling, consciously contracting the lower back, and then letting it go. We can do amazing things with our breath and our bodies and our mind. Let's do one more. Inhale, consciously contract, and release. Time to come back up in your cobra or your sphinx. Oh, you know what? I taught this yesterday, and I missed a part. We bring our legs up like this. That gets, makes it a little more interesting. Bring your feet up, Christine. We didn't do this yesterday. So today we make it a little more interesting. We come into this posture, feet are up. They're pointed as well. And we're gonna inhale, raise an arm, drop it. Inhale, up, exhale down. All right, close your eyes when you get a moment. We are here for two minutes. Find the stretch in the rib cage. Be sure that arm comes out. All right, fantastic. Beautiful, everybody. 
Okay. Third eye, you are holding 
up, 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 and in. Slowly release the arm, the breath. Now push back into your child's pose. Oh, it's gonna feel so good. Knees can be together or apart, whatever helps you to release that spine. Drop your forehead to the floor. Connect, arms can come around and touch the soles of the feet. Oh, just let it go, let it go. And then you start breathing in this posture, being conscious of the prana circulating through the body and igniting all of that chakra system. And you just let that rainbow of colors flow out from the root to the crown of your back body and breathe. Catch your breath. and focus on your third eye point that's touching the ground and then take an extra sip with rounded lips. Hold that. And then let's let go with a real big sigh. Ah, lovely. Come back onto your belly. Two more exercises until we get to switch over and do some rocking and rolling. You'll enjoy that. So the hands are going to be interlaced in a penis lock behind the body. Left thumb over right for women, right thumb over left for men. Tops of the feet are planted firmly onto the ground. I'm going to be raising up here and raising up my arms. It is a powerful breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. We have you just double check. It's as powerful as you can. The movement strengthens the spine and the nervous system. It also brings the energy up from the lower triangle to the upper triangle. So let me just get this song on and let's make it strong and powerful. You have two minutes. Keep your 
focus here. Just breathe. Sat. No. Sat. No. Truth is my name. Truth is my identity. Breathe it in. Fill your body up. Let go of anything stale. Anything you need to surrender. Next breath, I want you to inhale and hold it. And visualize you've got a little door on the back of your heart chakra. Open it up. What might be hiding back there that you need to let go of? When we release, sigh and let it go. Ah. Close that door and let's just breathe in overflowing self-love and compassion. Bring it in. Ah, hold it. Take an extra sip through rounded lips. Big sigh. Ah. One last big heart opener here. We're going to come into a bow pose. You can hold on to your feet any way like this, right? So we're going to hold on. I like to hold on to the outside. Now, my posture will start from my third eye touching here, but then I'm going to raise up. So you want to make sure your shoulders are open. We're pushing up, and then I'm going to use my breath just to gently rock. Now, you can see that works, right? But if it's just like a little bit of your breath, that's okay. You don't have to rock. You can also just do the best you can. Maybe it's one foot at a time, but we have. Let me get our time together here. Okay, we are going to do two minutes. It's going to spread energy through the body. We've got this. All right. Then you get to roll over and hug yourself so you'll really like that. Okay. Let's do it. Inhale up. This is breathing in and out the nose. I focus third eye. Rock. Here we come. Sit on Find your flow, find your breath, and don't let your mind wander. Sat Nam, Wahe Guru. Whatever works for you. Beautiful, beautiful. One more minute. Take a minute here. 
Yes, take a minute and rock. Toes are 
long inhale and hold it. Squeeze Mobamba, squeeze your toes if you are, bring yourself down as close as your forehead can come to your legs. Slow release. Breath block, just come sitting up straight. Hands are on the thighs. Keep that energy and don't open your eyes. Just sit up straight. Take a moment, breathe. Okay, we have one more physical posture. So let's breathe in some beautiful prana, re-energize. Take an extra sip through rounded lips. Let's sigh out any stale energy. Do that again. In all the way through the nose. Hold that at the top. Take an extra sip through rounded lips. Hold that. Eye focus goes from the third eye to the crown and above. Connecting that little me with the big me. Big side. Ah. Okay, 
Next posture, it's that starts from that crow pose, that kundalini crow pose. You know I have trouble with that keeping my feet down, so I always use a bolster. But this is where we are. And remember, when we're in this posture, we don't want to be all hunched over. You want to be straight in your posture here. If you need to use your fingertips to balance, you do. But let me show you what we're doing. We're going, oh, I actually have to look at it because it looks a little different than I did it yesterday. <laughs> all right. Okay, now, this is where we start. Same thing. We start here, one arm comes up and down. I'll get us some music. This is your last big one. See that on. Okay. Yes. Let's do it. It's almost like a breath of fire out your nose. Find your drishti or close your eyes if you can. Clearing the space in front of your heart. in your heart. Make sure you're sitting up really straight. You have a gentle tilt in your neck. Flow of energy around the back. Now keep with this breath. I'm going to be playing the Chattara Chattara Varate and I want you to know I have been listening to this for 12 years and I still don't know all the words so don't worry. We create it, we chant it, we play with it, we hum, you will find your words. It's a sound current. And so I just want to say, it's the mantra for the heart. When you are sinking, if you know this mantra and you can come into it and feel it, you can recuperate yourself. This entire session today is about recuperating ourselves, opening ourselves, and being able to face this world. So, Meditate on the words at first. We'll give it like two minutes. We've got six minutes to meditate on this mantra. Take it in. Listen. Let it affect your heart. Bring the vibration in. And then we'll just try to find the words.
attention to the root chakra, base of the spine, connected down like a beautiful roots of a maple or a vein down to Mother Earth. Connect and let this sound vibrate and open you up to that beautiful sense of comfort at home.
creativity and passion, igniting all of that sexual energy through the kidneys, let it flow into the adrenals and give it new life.
slowly start to bring yourself back into awareness, touching toes and fingers. You want to come sit with me? Touching your toes and fingers, making circles with your wrists and your ankles. Yeah. Waking up the body, maybe you reach your arms up over your head, breathe more into your heart center. Yeah. And then <clears throat> rock yourself up slowly into your easy pose. And allow the energy just to sink down. And I invite you just to place your hands to start just in your lap. I want to read you something. And I want to introduce you to my most magical mom. <laughs> Yay! She's joining us for meditation today. This is the greatest lady on the planet. So, yes. She's awesome, I'm so happy she's here. So we are meditating with her and we are doing, it's surrounding yourself with protection. Did you want to say that? I do. Oh, good morning everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. Yay. And we'll come over, they can speak to us after I have them all muted for right now. So I know they want to say hi. All right, so Gia, Kriya, just taking these words. The sound current, when we chant, has the infinite power to ignite your connection with God, Goddess, Source. It is the only power which the human can really excel as we vibrate higher. We get to increase the power of that vibration and the connected, connection. Guru Nanak said, when we chant this, Har Hare Hari, so we know that's calling on God, God consciousness, Wahe Guru, now, ecstasy and bliss, please help me to reach this darkness to light, help me to come into a place of enlightenment and connection. So it's Har, Hare, Hari, remember your tongue needs to be hitting the roof of your mouth to create this vibration, Har, Hare, Hari. Wa, hey, guru, literally, God, God consciousness, calling on this connection and activity. Now, bliss, enlightenment, please. You know, and it's so beautiful. So when we chant this through the mouth, you utter this sound current to which God listens with love, to which we can really create that vibratory flow. And it says the sound current is what we create with the organic matter of the body where we use our prana and these tongue taps and everything. So like, let's enjoy it and just, we're gonna just really get into flow with it. It's, oh, I did want to read you this too. One more thing and then I'll shush, then I'll shush. Um, so it says, I like this one. When nothing works, nothing, when nothing in life works, when there comes a moment in your life and just nothing is working and you know you're blocked, when all shelter and hope is gone, when the enemies have overcome and the friends have left, do this. So you can imagine we have, you know, we're all doing pretty good, but yeah, this one's going to clear out anything that's not doing good. So let's call on that. This is the movement. Thumb, you're doing your Gya Mudra, so you're thumb and index finger, and then we just let it be to our sides. I'm just going to over a little bit so we both have room. Okay. No, so your hands are here. Har. Hare. It comes over and the hands are facing down. Ha, hare, then hari. You just open up right there. Then you open up down again. Ha, hare, hari. Wa, he, guru. Ha, Hare Hari Wahe Guru Har Hare Hari Yes, yeah, so we're going to do 11 minutes I'm going to put a little, just a little sound in the background We're going to chant this all ourselves, everybody And, um, yeah We got it? We're ready We close our eyes We find our, find our voices And, okay Let's do it. Har Hare Hari Wahe Guru Har Hare Hari Wa 
वाहे गुरु हर हरे हरि 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 वाहे गुरु हर हरे वाहे गुरु हर हरे हरि वाहे गुरु हर हरे हरि दिस इज योग वाहे गुरु हर हरे हरि 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 वाहे गुरु हरि वाहे गुरु हर हरे 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 हरि 
second I gotta get our speaker back up Sky 
blessing you, blessing your prayers, thanking you for coming today, your magical energy, and sharing in the energies with my wonderful mom for her being here in shadow. We rise up and we greet one another with a sat nam. Stay here, I'll bring them over. I'll bring you over to say hi. Sat nam, everyone. <laughs>